Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionalis, your favorite medical channel one more time. This is the 24th video in my playlist called Pulmonology or Pulmonary Medicine. And we have discussed acute epiglottitis before, as well as croup, which, also, which is also known as laryngotracheobronchitis. Acute epiglottitis is caused by Haemophilus influenza B, and croup is caused by parainfluenza virus, which is a paramyxovirus, which is a negative sense RNA virus. Let's review some anatomy, guys, okay? So what is this? Hyoid bone. How about this? This is the thyroid cartilage. What's the name of this ligament which is between the hyoid and the thyroid? Thyrohyoid ligament. Excellent. So what about this? So this should be bigger. And this is called the cricoid or cricoid cartilage. And what's the name of this ligament between the thyroid and the cricoid? And this is the cricothyroid ligament. And then this is the trachea with the nice cartilage forming the rings to prevent the trachea from collapsing. This mechanism which prevents the trachea from collapsing is absent in a disease called tracheomalacia. And that's important. With that being said, now let's get started. First, let's start with singer nodule or vocal cord nodules. First, they are nodules on the true vocal cord. When we say vocal cord, we mean the true vocal cord. When we say vestibular fold, this is the false vocal cord. So this is true. Okay, usually bilateral. All right, first, where is the true vocal cord? If we take a cross section, or I'm sorry, it's like a perpendicular anteroposterior or or a coronal section. So here is your larynx. On top, there is the epiglottis to cover it. Then here are the false vocal folds or vestibular folds or vestibular cords or whatever. Then we have the true vocal cords. Okay, those are the true vocal cords or vocal folds. Between the false and the true, there is something called the vestibule or the commissure. And then you go down there and you know the rest of the story. So singer's nodule, true vocal cord cause excessive use of vocal cord such as a teacher singer or a football coach someone who yells all the time symptoms hoarseness of voice also known as dysphonia dysphonia is an important term histopathology you'll find myxoid degeneration this is a very famous question on your exam please remember singer's nodule as well as the majority of laryngeal carcinoma occur on the true vocal cord and here's my mnemonic there are some advantages to being pseudo you don't get a pathology on top of you because no one cares about you because you are pseudo. False vocal cord, even pathology doesn't care. So here is the singer and he is singing with his very sick voice because he has dysphonia and which is hoarseness of voice. So there is the mnemonic. La 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 la. I have a myxoid degeneration in my two true vocal cords. Wear and tear. If only I have rest, they will resolve again. So what's the cause? Overuse. What is the pathology? Myxoid degeneration. What is the treatment? Rest. You got it. Okay, some pearls. The majority of cases of lung abscess are caused by aspiration of oropharyngeal material from the upper airway below the true vocal cords. So when you have lung abscess, it means aspiration coming from just below the true vocal cords. So Singer's nodule, on the true vocal cord, laryngeal carcinoma on the true vocal cord, laryngeal papilloma on the true vocal cords, lung abscess aspiration from below the true vocal cords, GERD can have acid injury to the true vocal cord leading to dysphonia or hoarseness of voice. So you can have a reflux disease and end up with hoarseness of voice. Everything here is true vocal cord because when you're pseudo, nobody cares about you. Even pathology doesn't care because you're pseudo, you're useless. Let's talk about laryngeal papilloma or papillomatosis. It's a benign tumor, of course, cause human papilloma virus 6 and 11. This is a low risk human papilloma. Epidemiology, we have children or the juvenile type and then adults, there is the adult type. In children, there are multiple papillomatoses and in adults, it's only one. The mnemonic is kids play together where 
whereas many adults are lonely or single. Clinical picture, hoarseness of voice, also known as dysphonia. Okay, here is a pearl. Laryngeal disease or laryngitis is a triad of dysphonia, dysphagia, and dyspnea, especially if there is an inflammation or infection. So let's have some fun. Laryngeal papillomatosis. Laryngeal papilloma. P, so HPV, that's the virus, human papilloma virus. Which serotypes? 6 and 11. And the color here is light color, which is this indigo, because they are low risk. They are not high risk, so I draw them like light color. I'm a stupid. Okay, so adults and juvenile. Adults, what do you mean? I mean the disease came to you when you are older than 20 years. And how about juvenile? If you are younger than 20 years of age. In adults, it's usually single. So here is a single guy. And he is sad because he doesn't have a partner. Okay, juvenile, this is a young kid, and it is multiple, because kids play with other kids, so it's multiple, but many adults are lonely, and this is a very unfortunate thing. Both of them are having thumbs up. Why? Because it affects the true vocal cord. Laryngeal carcinoma, this is cancer of head and neck, therefore cigarette smoking and alcohol are involved. Take it to the bank. Number one is cigarette, number two is alcohol. If you have cigarette plus alcohol, this is synergism. You have an increased risk of getting laryngeal carcinoma. This is really important. So it's carcinoma involving the larynx, epithelium lining the vocal cords. Do you mean true or false? True. Your exam question will have a patient who is a male with bad mouth odor, smokes a pack for 30 years, like he's a smoker, alcoholic complains of hoarseness of voice and mass in the neck. This is laryngeal cancer. What's the histopathology of laryngeal cancer? Squamous cell carcinoma. Again, if it's in the head and neck, it's mostly squamous cell carcinoma and usually keratin positive. True or false? True vocal cord. Clinically, again, it's the larynx, so you have dysphonia, and you can have cervical lymphadenopathy because this is cancer. And remember, cancer is painless, infection is painful. Now, on my Patreon website, I have a PDF called Triads in Medicine. I have organized the diseases which have clinical triads, and I have more than 45 diseases in a single PDF that you can download. So please go to my website patreon.com slash medicosis. So I'll give you just three examples. Laryngitis is a triad of 3Ds, dysphonia, dysphagia, and dyspnea. Acute epiglottitis is a triad of respiratory distress, dysphagia, and drooling. Croup is a triad of cough, hoarseness, and respiratory distress in a kid less than three years of age. Acute epiglottitis is caused by hemophilus influenza, Croup is caused by para-influenza virus. To get the rest of the more than 45 diseases, please go to patreon.com slash medicosis. Let's face it, you're struggling to learn about Legionella mycoplasma pseudomonas rhinovirus. Check out my friend's website called Picmonic, Pictured Mnemonics for medical students and nursing students and pharmacy students. And please see the link in the description below. They are not a sponsor of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and join the tribe. Hit the bell to get notified. You can support this channel and get all of my notes, including my famous note, Triads in Medicine, as well as my cases and my audio notes and many other stuff. Patreon.com slash Medicosis. Thank you so much for watching. As always, be safe, stay happy, and study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.